So if you want something a little bit more structured than rolling the dice, then uh, I would recommend using the Voyager tool. And the Voyager tool is this little um, wheel here, uh, pirate ship wheel. You're going to click on that, and what this has is this has curated um, guided tours of all sorts of various places on Earth. Uh, and you see here you have this kind of um, slideshow that's running through here, luminous lighthouses, um, planetary exploration on the Earth, um, the world's ocean, uh, and then you can also scroll down here and you can see um, all sorts of different things. Global beaches, 3D imagery, clouds from space, be a scientist on your smartphone, archaeological sites. Let's click on that one and see what that one does. All right, so we clicked on archaeological sites, uh, and this is a quiz. So we're going to um, just kind of explore this for just a second. So let's go see what it does. Question one of nine. The 1922 discovery of which pharaoh's tomb sparked a wildwood obsession with its treasures? All right, so uh, King Tut, I think, Tutankhamun. Let's go with that. Okay, great start. So, I got it right, because I'm a smart guy. Um, but if I got it wrong, it would most likely take me to the same spot here. And, and it would uh, give me more information and show me what I need to know to answer the question. Okay, so now we're going to go on, uh, and I want to uh, get a question wrong to kind of show you what happens there. All right, in the 18th century, excavations began at which site buried by volcanic ash in 79 AD? Okay, the answer to this is C, Pompeii. Um, but we're going to pick, pick Troy just to see what happens in, when it's incorrect. Okay, so close, wrong answer. Fascinating discovery was made at the House of the Fawn, a luxurious home with a notable mosaic of Alexander the Great. So Pompeii is the answer there. Okay, and it's going to take you into Pompeii, um, and uh, and that is what's going to happen. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. Not um, going to be something that you're going to do for like one of the kids to actually get the answers right or credit or you know, hold them accountable for getting these answers right because the questions are fairly random. Uh, but it just is, uh, it gives you a little bit more uh, of a guided tour of some various places throughout the world, where they're actually learning something and seeing. Um, they're seeing these specific sites and, and kind of considering the different answers there. So uh, I hope you found that useful. I think that's kind of a fun tool. Let me know if you need any help with that, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.